As tech titans descended upon the White House this week to discuss modernizing and fixing the federal government's severely outdated IT systems, one issue that was no doubt at the forefront, our vulnerability as a nation to cyber attacks. For the first time ever, listen to this, there was a real-time cyber attack of a national electrical grid. It happened in Ukraine, reportedly by Russian hackers. Excel Energy CEO Ben Folk has been warning about this for years, that the U.S. could be vulnerable to such an attack. He joins us now in a Fox Business exclusive. Uh, what about that, um, Mr. Folk? You've been warning for so long, trying to send up the flares. How vulnerable are we here in the U.S.? And uh, could they, you know, it's the old could it happen here question. Well, thanks for having me, Liz. You know, the industry has been making a lot of progress over the years in protecting the grid, uh, how we coordinate, how we plan, how we would respond to an attack. But as you just noted at the beginning of the uh, segment, uh, the bad guys are getting better, too. So uh, we have to continue to improve how we plan, how we coordinate, how we defend the grid, because, as you know, uh, the grid is electricity, and electricity powers everything in our modern society. I remember uh, during New York City's brownouts and a couple of uh, short-term blackouts that the big complaint was that our grid was outdated. It was um, uh, just sort of a web of interconnected grids and that it wasn't all one together, uh, d does that leave us vulnerable or does seemingly putting it all together make us weaker rather than stronger? Well, that's a really good question. The fact that our electric grid was developed independently in different regions of the country, I think actually makes it harder to do a widespread cyber attack. Huh. And the thing we have to protect the most is what we call the EMS system. That's the, the brains of our grid. And that's where we put a significant amount of effort into protecting Liz. Is this on utilities? Is this on Excel Energy and companies like you? Or is it on the federal government? Because it sounds like a huge cost and a major effort. Uh, it's on both. Uh, we need to work uh, hand in glove with the government sharing information. Uh, we need to work with other critical infrastructure sectors finance, uh, telecommunications, because we're interdependent upon each other. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we went down and we were trying to recover and we couldn't have telecommunications working, that would certainly hamper our okay. ability. So it's really important that we're coordinated. And that's, that's one of the biggest things we have to do, Liz. Well, uh, at least we're on generator here at Fox News and Fox Business. But I, I'm just concerned that ATMs would go out. You'd have mass mayhem. And these Russian hackers and the Chinese hackers are, as you say, getting better at it. You've been using drones. I want to bring this up to inspect a lot of your sure. lines. And that way, uh, what I love about it is it doesn't put the pole climbers in danger that much, as much anymore, certainly. Um, the president met with drone leaders in the business world. And, and perhaps they're moving toward looser regulations. A, do you think it'll happen, and B, do you look forward to that? Well, I definitely look forward to it. We have 20,000 miles of transmission lines, to your point, and we're also the leading wind provider in the country, so we have a lot of wind towers. I'd much rather have a drone inspecting those towers and those lines than an employee from a safety perspective, also from a cost perspective. So what we need is beyond visual line of sight uh, abilities. Uh, Liz, at the same time, though, back to your cyber question, we want to make sure that our critical infrastructure is protected from unintentional or intentional uh, drones landing on things like our substations. Uh, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you because it's very much in the news. You have a lot of employees uh, whose health care insurance you cover. Um, as, how closely are you watching what's going on in D.C.? And do you feel that the current system is, is spiraling down or is it holding up for you? Just give us an assessment as a business leader. It's certainly, as a U.S. citizen, something I'm watching very closely. I will also tell you, Liz, I'm proud to say that we offer very good benefits uh, that we self-insure mm. ourselves for our employees. So uh, they're protected for now for what's happening with health care. But, uh, you know, we all need health care, and something needs to be fixed, yeah. that's for sure. Well, good for you for uh, not waiting around to lead the way. It's great to see you, Ben. Thank you so much for coming on. Hey, Liz, it's, thanks a lot. Look forward to seeing you again. Anytime. Ben Folk is Excel Energy CEO here in a Fox Business exclusive. Good luck to you.